viewers welcome to my channel Dev online in this tutorial of javascript today we are going to learn how we can use cookies in our web pages in our web site and our web program if you guys know web browser and server use http protocol to communicate and http is a stateless protocol so but for commercial website it is required to maintain session information among different pages for example one user registration ends after completing many pages but how to maintain user sessions information across all the web pages so in many situations using cookies is the most efficient method of info uh, remembering and tracking preference purchases commissions and all other information required for a better visitor experience or site service so keys how it works let me give you here one website here if you guys come to any website and the, the visitor for example the visitor come and seeing going to use your website somewhere playing the videos and you know if he comes and click on the view works button and come to see your works how it's working check your uh, website looking in which um, platform he going uh, using so we need these all data about the users so what he most like on my website what's he trying to look for so we need to capture these all information from the user in this video I'm going to show you how we can store the cookies how we can store these cookies so what the user doing here so let me give you one example a simple example I hope you guys understand I'm just going to create one form here the one form which have a name name equal to which is my form and then have an action sorry area not check action action is equal to blank because it's going to be used in anything you guys basically action post method method and action post whatever you guys want it and enter name here and i'm going to create one input which is have a type or a text and then have a name and name is customer and here is close input and then we want one button when you click on this and then the function start to write cookie on it so the input which is type have a button and then uh, name of basically button sorry just I'm gone value which is I'm calling set cookie after this on click so on click we will be write the name of the cookie is write cookie write cookie function when on click just start this function actually and close the button tag and let me show you first how this looks like so now you can see here enter the name so whenever person type here is a name and click on the button so in the cookies function they will be right they will be captured and store this name of input so that's what we want to do here so in the script tag as if you can see here just a script text javascript i'm going to create the function which is already i write the name of the function which is write cookie and here I'm calling if if document dot my form my form is basically this my form the one we already create the name of form and then the another name is customer so here is customer and here's my form come to dot document dot my form and then come to the customer and give us a value 
value of this input so value but if this is the if function so we call if this value is empty string actually so give us just alert and alert is enter some data I'm sorry not data data here so this should have us return or otherwise we have to write something let me see oh yeah it's not right now okay it should be alert and then we need to define some cookie value basically so we call here cookie value cookie value which is equal to the escape why escape function we are using because uh, the cookie values may not include semi uh, semicolons commas or white spaces like this so for this reason we are going to use uh, the JavaScript escape function so in the escape function we are calling here this document dot uh, my form which have customer and we need to take this value of the customer and then we are going to escape function here so we calling to put in the uh, semicolons after this we tell to the document sorry document dot cookie actual property function of JavaScript where we have to tell them the which equal so name equal and then plus whatever the cookie value we got it so this is the one variable we create here is cookie value so here we describe it so here is two ways to see this we can console log and we can uh, write on our web page for now just for showing you guys how it uh, works so document dot write actually and I'm calling here okay, this is our setting cookies here setting cookies and what should be the cookie so basically actually is name sorry we have to use plus sign here and then calling again in the string have a name uh, and the name is equal to which is plus have this variable cookie value I hope this function work the right cookie we can write this cookie so let me open again with the browser and here I'm can type the name like Nizam and when so yeah so this is how we store cookies when you somebody write the name so it goes to the setting cookies function over there and it save like this you can guys um, add some expiry date if you want to use I'm just giving you a quick example here if you want to use uh, specific time so here is variable we call variable new which is the date method of uh, JavaScript so we will be called here just date method of JavaScript and then we're gonna call this now variable which is already to the date and we're gonna set month you want a month you want a hours you want a day you want a week we can just call here set month set date and then we call now dot get the month get month function and after this plus one so the plus one actually it will say it like uh, for cookies for one month okay and you can guys simple cookie value and the same function so it will be um, did for a one month but here you're gonna guys um, after this you can write it 
a document dot cookie which is expired I'm just gonna uh, have an example okay, expired so here you guys can expire it and define now to um, let me give you just right quick example because because the now variable now and then to if you guys here see UTC string function of JavaScript and then I'm just going to use a split function so like this you can expire in one month we can set the date you can set the um, week month you can set up the your cookies and use these cookies it is very best and useful method to use cookie in all over in the pages like for example document dot cookies and not for the form you can just give him the page name here and then the page have a customer page you can use the page customer in which the, um, you can say the page have a domain name how many person came or um, so many things you guys capture it from this function i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys like my video please like and comments below see you in the next video